Welcome back. One of the unique features inside of GetResponse is that you can actually create a survey within the actual facility and incorporate it into your emailing. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go to Forms and Surveys. And then we're going to click Manage Surveys. When we arrive at this screen, what we're going to do is click Create a New Survey. And we're going to give our survey a name. And this is going to be our internal name. So our client is not going to see this. We're going to give our survey a title. Our client will see this title. We'll write in a description. And what we can do is we can add a tag to everyone that actually does the survey. And this is a way of identifying people in our list who have actually taken the survey. So we're going to write in here a little code. Now, if we want the person to actually confirm after they have taken the survey, we can use double opt-in. If we don't really care and we're really after the data, we can use single opt-in. So in most cases, you might use single opt-in. Okay, then we're going to type a little message in here so that when someone completes the actual survey, we give them a message. And then we're going to send them to a thank you URL. So if you want to give them a report or some kind of gift for actually completing the survey, you can actually do that. It's recommended that you don't give an incentive to have people complete the survey, but if they do complete the survey, you do want to give them some kind of reward. And typically, if you have a logo, you can actually put the logo in this URL. Now, we're not going to put one here at this time, but all we need is the URL for a particular logo, and we can actually enter it into our survey settings. We will then click Next Step. Now we can use the Survey Builder in order to create questions for the people who are going to be filling out our survey. So for example, if we want to have a multiple choice question, we can drag that on to our first page. And then we can structure the question and the answers. In order to do that, we're going to click Edit. And then we're going to write our question and then our answers in. Now what we can do is we can make this question required by clicking this box. And we can add in a custom field if we want. We can actually change the kind of appearance that they're going to see during the survey. We should probably try to be consistent throughout our questions. So if we decide that we're going to choose radio button, one radio button, choose one out of the list or choose many, we're going to want to choose that for this question. So we're going to leave the default setting and we're going to click save. And then that is our first question. We can then drag and drop a second one. And then we can write our question in. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this one required. We're going to click Save. And then the person will then need to answer that question. So once we've added all the questions to this page that we want, we can then click Save Survey. We can also add in a second page if we want. Or we can take that second page out and just have one page. Once we've added all the questions and all the pages that we want, we're going to click Save Survey. Now, when our survey arrives in this list, it's not going to be published until we click the Publish button. So we're going to do that now. And now our survey is published. And what we're going to do is we're going to give this URL to the people that are actually going to be taking the survey. So if we're going to email it or we're going to put it inside of our domain, we can actually do that with this link. And when the person actually has to take the survey, this is what they will actually see. And we, they can say yes. And then they can say whatever they want to say here. And then they're going to click Send. And then the survey takes them to the page that we designate. Now what we can do is to come back to the screen 
and take our survey statistics. And GetResponse will tell us that we have a completed survey. And then we will actually be able to look to find out what was answered in terms of the questions. So if we click questions, we'll see this question, the number of answers and the number of yeses that we have. We'll also see how many people actually answered the open-ended question and we can then click see more details to find out more. We'll then see the answer that the person gave. We can close out and then we can actually export all of this data to a CSV file. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.